please put your hands together welcome lucy spragan hello hello how are you doing are you all right loving the headphones thank you i i sort of panicked i was like oh what can i use but they're they're big but they do the they do the job oh how are you doing in lockdown lucy yeah um i've been doing i've been doing all right i mean i, I do a lot of working out so that's kind of been the, my main thing my main focus in lockdown um and yeah lots of self sort of work on myself which i feel like a lot of people have been doing I mean, your fitness, it has been incredible because, you know, we, we've seen pictures recently of you and and I am in envy of your six pack. It's, it's just, oh my God, what is your secret? I mean, is it the training every day? Because I run, but there's no six pack here. No six pack, no four pack. Um, I think, um, I think I... I feel like a bit of a cheat because I gave up drinking a year ago on the 28th of this month. And when I gave up drinking, I just, I got this, like, I just, woke, I went to Vegas with my friends and they were all hung over and I woke up really early in the morning and I was like, I have to get out of here. I've got such bad doom. So I went for a run and I ran like 2K, 2.4K. And I was like, I'm going to puke. I'm never going to do this again, ever. Um, and then the next day I did it and the next day and, I just got this fitness thing and to be honest the abs just like sort of appeared and I feel like a bit of a fraud. I've got to ask what does that feeling feel like when you first notice how much your body's changed and, and how good you suddenly look? Uh, it's weird because I still look at, I, I look in the mirror and I, I still just see the same it's like because like the the physical changes that have happened to me have happened so quickly like over the last six months that i sort of look in the mirror and i see this like the same body if you know what i mean but like what i what i really like focusing on for me is like what i can lift how much further i can run or what my resting heart rate is like rather than it is enjoyable to look at all the differences and like i never thought that i would have like a six pack <laughs> Like even saying that is just like a bit of a joke, really. But, uh, yeah, it's not just made you look fantastic. It's also created like some focus in your mind because you've been really busy now with your music. You've got an album coming out, haven't you? Is it in October or autumn time? Called yeah. Justice? Has it made you more proactive? The fact that you've got into the fitness and had that focus. I, I've never been more focused in my life, to be honest with you. I, I've never. I never knew. I've always been a person who's just said I'm plagued with anxiety and depression and it's never going to change and I'm always going to be the same and some days I'm never going to want to get up and I'm, I'm, you know, and that was it. There was like this ceiling that I'd always hit and I gave up drinking and it's just opened up my world. So, yeah, like... So has it reduced the, um, and the anxiety and the depression then? Yeah, I mean, I still get anxious over things. The reason I'm in a sports bar is because I just hosted a, a fitness session for the um, BFBS, like the British Forces fitness thing, which, again, is wild. Um, but, like, yeah, like, it doesn't get rid of it. I was anxious to all of today because I was like, oh, I'm doing this session. I don't know what I'm doing. But, like, I can... I can resolve it and I can, I can I still get low, but I can get back out and find a way out. Yeah. Because I used to drink to like, oh, do you know what? I'll deal with that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So is that is that what the album title is about, Choices? Because you've kind of made those choices. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got it. I got it. Yay. <laughs> Have you changed um, the style of music at all then be, because of, you know, your change in mindset? Um, the music's definitely more, I mean, there are songs you can like run to, not that it's like house, it's not house music at all. It's not at all. It's the same kind of music, but there's different production on it and there's a bit more attitude to it, really. I'm going through a divorce and I am like going through this life change and physical and mental changes that like I just kind of came out of nowhere and so choices is you know there's a song called sober it's about getting sober there's a song called run it's about running but it's more interesting than that 
<laughs> it sounds like you're going through a lot of um, changes at the moment, but actually, from what you're saying, those changes are actually having a positive impact on you. Yeah, and when the when those things start happening, it's it's like you can be really scared about changes and choices that happen in life, or you can just sort of like jump on the bobsleigh and just roll down the hill instead of trying to fight your way back up the ice. And I guess that's what I did. And and I honestly have never never felt like this before. Well, I, I love the fact that you, you've always seemed to keep it real, Lucy, because, you know, a lot of people, when they go on a you know program like X Factor, they, they take a certain path and you came out of that and then you, you spent a lot of time fostering. Have you, is it 12 children that you fostered? I think that's incredible. You know, you, you, you seem to balance life and music in a good way um well me and my ex-wife we we did fostering together where we lived in Stockport and like that was such a wild experience and it's something that I want to do when I am older or slash have a bit more time because I tour I was last year uh, I was touring solidly for like 13 months so it, it got really tough but I think you have got to have a balance and and if you get like nice things in life and and you've got and you're privileged then you should sort of take those privileges and and distribute them where you can if you can try and make a difference and it's a, it, it's kept you grounded mm -hmm. I think and wouldn't you say that I just think all my friends would just call me an Obed if I uh, wasn't <laughs> But, That's not the impression you gave Lucy at all. No. I suppose what I really want to ask you is, what's the ultimate dream and have you achieved it yet? Well, do you know what? It's a really funny question because I, I reckon a couple of years ago I'd have been like, I want to be stratospheric. I want everybody to know who I am. And, uh, you know, I, I want multi-platinum records. And and that, like at the beginning of all this change, I sort of looked at my career and I was like, I'm a 28-year-old woman woman f working in a music industry that's run by middle-aged white guys who and there's there's like a significant lack of opportunity in the touring scene anyway and like musicians in general we're so lucky if we even get to bloody do what we love and like performers if you get to get on a stage on a saturday night like how amazing is that and to me the definition of success changed and I feel like I'm a successful young woman I've played Glastonbury twice I was supposed to be doing it for the third time this year I was supposed to be touring Australia I tour in America and Germany and and I love my life and that's I just want to continue doing this and that would make me happy and did you ever think did you ever think if you were talking to yourself 10 years ago maybe a bit further back, did you, ever, did you ever think that you'd be able to say to yourself that this is where you'd get to? Oh, I think me then I'd have been like, yeah, I know, I'm going to be huge. No, <laughs> uh, I like, I was such, I was a pretty, I would say that I carried a lot of troubles with me until, uh, you know, a year or so ago. And ten, 10 year ago me was a very interesting young thing. And I think I'd love to go back and just be like, chill out, just calm down, and it'll all be all right. <laughs> Have you got plans then to do anything alongside the music with your fitness? Because obviously, you know, you said that you just did some bits for the, for the British forces. Would you like to go and do some more fitness alongside it? Have you got time for it? Well, on the DL, I am doing the fitness program. I don't think I've told anyone that before. That is um, cool. This is in what? one show. Well done, Shell. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's really and, uh, I'm working quite closely with the company. They did like Tony Bellews and Amy Child's videos um, and programs, but it's not going to be like a normal program. I'm going to be really open with people and be like, you know, you if you want to achieve your goals, you do not need to buy this program. Like, do it yourself. But I'm just going to be there, like acting like journey yeah yeah and sort of like being in your ears and saying like yeah you're knackered but come on we can do this like let's go and it's gonna be an online forum and it's gonna be good well you've got me signing up for it because i want that four to become a six <laughs> you know what's even better than that you've got me signing up for oh, it I mean, baby. Hey? <laughs> i 
<laughs> I look good in lycra. In a sparkle, you know. I want to wear that jacket for the program, the fitness program, actually. You let me know where to send it to, Flower. It can be yours. It's, it's a bit warm. It's denim. It's not a good <laughs> idea under studio lighting, but it covers a multitude of sins, which you don't have to do anymore, uh, do you? You may have done a workout, but there's not an ounce of sweat on you, but there's a lot on Belinda. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy's bragging, you've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us. It's Thank lovely you. to see you glowing and so happy. It's amazing. So good luck with the rest of it, yeah? Thank yeah. you so much. And uh, stay safe and stay well.